This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Scott Bergeron from Buck Scientific and he's going to tell us about their 210 atomic absorption spectrometer. This is our 210 atomic absorption spectrophotometer. Uh, it has a three lamp manual turret. Uh, so there's one lamp for analysis uh, while two are being warmed up for the next analysis. Uh, this particular model has deuterium background correction. Uh, so uh, samples with uh, with organics in the matrix can still be analyzed. Uh, manual controls of air and uh, fuel ratios. Uh, and then this is our ac air acetylene flame. Uh, it can be switched out for a nitrous acetylene flame. Uh, very easy repair of uh, and replacement of nebulizer tubes, nebulizer beads, um, easy to clean slot. Um, and then aspiration is, is simply just placing the sample, uh, the, the nebulizer tube in the sample for analysis. Uh, over here we have uh, our firmware screen. We can bring up uh, the library for each metal. Uh, atomic absorption is used mainly for uh, trace metal analysis in the part per million range. Um, so uh, here we have a calibration curve uh, that's shown for uh, for a metal. Uh, libraries can also be loaded uh, and the the library tells you what wavelength to set uh, to set the monochromator to and what slit width to use. Um, and the the monochromator is right here. It's manually adjusted on the side as well as the slit width has three options over here. Uh, this is this is an excellent point for um, for student use, for academic use. Uh, a lot of professors and teachers like to have students actually dial in the wavelength uh, to pick the, the proper wavelength for analysis. Um, and because everything is manual, uh, a lot of light industry uses our system. Uh, you don't have to uh, be a chemist to be able to use our system. Uh, so a lot of plating bath companies will use this particular setup to do uh, chrome analysis or nickel analysis of their plating baths before and after uh, the bath's been used. Um, so it's a fairly rugged sort of machine that's good for quality control, that type of application? Absolutely. So teaching and, and quality control are very good. Um, it's all metal. Uh, it's all made in the United States. Uh, we've had uh, people that have had these instruments for 20 years and are still using uh, our instrument. Um, they're small enough that we can do repairs back at our facility in East Norwalk, Connecticut, um, which, which reduces repair costs significantly down the road if anything needs to be replaced. And for anybody who's interested in buying one, they can obviously find information on your website, which is what? Uh, www.bucksci.com. And for anybody who's looking to buy one, you guys also offer flexible purchasing terms? Uh, yes, we do offer um, leasing terms uh, if needed. Uh, through our sister company, Buck Financial. All right, Scott, thanks very much for giving us a tour through the 210 Atomic Absorption Spectrometer. Thank you.